Turn back to meteorologist Brittany Beggs in the Storm Alert Center for a check of our forecast. And we are looking forward to the next few days, Brittany. You're not going to have any issues uh, in the weather department here today, this afternoon, and that's going to be the trend all the way through Thursday. Uh, things are going to get a little bit more interesting as we move into the end of the week Friday and then into this upcoming weekend, but we will enjoy at least the next 72 hours here. So even with a little bit of wind out there, we just had a wind gust 20 miles an hour at the airport. There's hardly any moisture still on the roads out there. So even with the heavy rainfall, brief heavy rain that we had periods of time this morning, that system is moved out. So we'll have a westerly wind wind out there though today. So the winds will be gusting anywhere from 15 to 20 and our higher elevations may be up to about 25 this afternoon. So it'll be a little bit breezy. Uh, overall pretty nice though. 60s are in the forecast today. Remember yesterday we topped 60 at the airport yesterday. So today will be the second day in a row. We're going to continue this trend all the way through Thursday. Very, very, very small isolated rain chance for Thursday. Better rain chance is going to be moving in Friday, Saturday and into Sunday of this upcoming weekend. So we're going to enjoy this nice kind of drying out pattern and then it flips this upcoming weekend. In fact, with some mild temperatures, we also can't roll out maybe a thunderstorm or two this weekend. I'll talk more about that here in a minute. Here's our afternoon planner. A lot of blue sky and putting us up now to 62 degrees because we're already flirting with 60 at the airport. Clear for tonight. Tonight we're in the mid 30s. For uh, overnight, though, we should have those winds kind of subside. I don't see any low visibility for us tonight because the air will be much drier. But here's our forecast highs for the next week. Average high, 58 to 59 degrees. You can see I've kind of battling a cold here. 63 tomorrow. We're up to 67 on Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be the mildest day here for the next, uh, really for the next six days. By next week, we get up to 67 again. But this Wednesday is going to be really nice. I'm thinking by Sunday we're going to have a couple of thunderstorms that will kind of kind of drive some of those thunderstorms by Sunday. So here's our rain chance. We're kind of drying out Friday, Saturday and Sunday. What I'm seeing at this time is from Friday through Saturday afternoon, potentially an inch to two inches of rainfall headed our way. We've surpassed the normal average rainfall for February now. Usually we're about three and a half inches and I think we're approaching now 3.7 or 3.8 inches because of the rainfall we picked up this morning. So we're actually above normal now for February and as we move into March, it's going to get wet too. Here's our precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This was released today. It shows from February 27th through March 3rd, there's a 40% chance of above normal uh, rainfall here or above normal rain chances. So we see that through the first couple of days of March. We'll take that all the way out through March 7th and it shows our Tennessee counties still in a 40% chance above normal. So it's going to be getting a little bit wetter around here, but it's also going to be getting milder. I do not see another cold snap headed our way, at least in the short term period.